Hi, I'm Gary Wheeler. Um, I'm going to show you what we look for when we're measuring to uh, put a cargo tray in. So the first thing I'm going to do is decide, number one, do I want a full pass through that opens up on both sides or do I want one that just opens up on one side? Uh, you've got a couple of different floor plans. Uh, as you'll notice on this one, we have a gap between the uh, floor and the outside of the compartment and you've got that on both sides. If I want that tray to open on both the driver's side and the curb side, I'm gonna look at our 72 inch long slides that open up 80%. So it's a CTG 80, uh, whatever the width is, and then 72 inches. Uh, as far as what width am I gonna put in there? You wanna measure the narrowest part of the uh, cargo slide that the door will be coming out on. For example, here you see we have a very wide compartment. But then we look on the other side and we have a narrow section on it. So we can't do the widest part of it. We always have to go to the narrow portion of the compartment. So you also have to, when you're measuring, compensate for those struts. If you'll notice on the uh, narrow side, you have a strut that goes into the uh, opening of the door. So you have to measure the inside of that strut to the wall just to ensure you're getting the right width and the tray or compartment will go out both sides. If this is a full 38, for example, you could do a 38 inch because the measurements that we give you are the outside dimensions. So you could put a 38 by 90 if this was a, if the floor came all the way across. And then on that one, you would use a CTG 60.